Hello, Curry Leaf Club members. So, hope you are all doing good. I'm Ebenezer, and we'll be welcoming today Ms. Dwani Seth, who is the Young Scientist Awardee of the Indian National, um, sorry, Indian Science Congress Association. We welcome you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you and Curry Leaf team? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Um, yeah, so the person as I introduced to you all today, so we are going to interview Ms. Dwani Seth, who is the Young Scientist Awardee for the year 2022. So we'll ask her how uh, they came to know about the award and what, what, what were the process which were going on. So before we start the interview, ma'am, do you want to share us something? Uh, yeah, sure. Actually, when I was doing my master's, I did not have any plan for going to research. But uh, at the end of first year of my master's, I participated in level two of MTTS. I was a participant of level two directly. Before that, I had never applied for MTTS. Then after attending only one level, level two only, I changed my mindset. Then first I opted for dissertation, which is uh, provided in... Uh, Final year of MSc. It is an optional, uh, like it is not compulsory at our institute. So first I opted for that dissertation and then decided to continue with the research. And that's how I came into this line of research. So in the base of this award also, the foundation was laid by MTTS only. So I must give the credit to MTTS also. Um, that's that's cool. That's cool. Um, yes, there is one small correction which I made. So, Ms. Dwani Seth is the uh, Young Scientist Award of year the 2023. Actually, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. Um, yes, ma'am. So, here goes our first question. How come did you like uh, get to know about this award? And do you know this award exists for a very long time or this was the first time you were you were hearing before applying for the award? No, actually, in, uh, before joining my PhD formally, when I used to discuss with my guide, so at that time, I came to know about one conference and there I met one participant. So he was knowing about Indian Science Congress and uh, so he had uh, told me and informed me about uh, that conference and then I came to know about various uh, competitions and this awards and it. So for the first time only I had applied in this for young scientist award and coincidentally at the first trial only I received it. Received at your first trial. Wow, that's great. That's <laughs> great. Wow, fine. So whether there were criteria, ma'am, like to get the award actually? Actually, uh, we are first supposed to send the full lunch paper uh -huh. from the yeah, all over country. They collect the papers, then uh, there are different sections like uh, mathematical sciences mm -hmm. uh, then chemical sciences so for mathematical sciences and similarly for each field they distribute these papers to the respective experts who are expert in this field for example mathematical sciences itself is a wide area mm -hmm. it contains algebra topology and many more things yeah. so they find a subject specialist and then they send this uh, research papers for the evaluation on the basis of the this they select at most five candidates for oral presentation okay. okay so and then we get a chance to present our paper orally and out of this five presentations they can select any one candidate for the award and if they don't find any presentation to be satisfactory then they do not even give the award for that year Oh, okay. This is yeah, like a and, uh, competition. Yeah, a little bit tough. And uh, due to COVID, this conference happened. Uh, this was a combination of 2021, 22, and 23. Oh. Yeah, so this time okay. it was a big competition. Like the participants who had submitted in 2021, 22, 22. as well as in 23. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Wow, that's great. That's great for like uh, you just competed with three consecutive year participants and then you got the award. This is just thrilling. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, what did you think that um your application actually stood out uh, out of all the other applicants for this award? Uh, what did you think that uh, what was the very strongest part you felt that uh. What was the very strongest part of your application? I think that uh, the way of presentation and the application of the research. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays, pure mess is also important. But as well as if it has a blend of application, then it is very appealing. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I had a very nice application with uh, Space Dynamics. So I think that might have played a major role. Okay, okay. So since we come to a, um, like an application part of a one particular area, so can we ask in which field of mathematics are you in and from how did you like connect it to space dimensions? Can we know that about that? Actually, my topic is broad topic is orbital mechanics. So okay. it deals with the orbits of satellites. Uh -huh. nice. So one can consider it as a blend of mass as well as physics. Physics, okay. Yeah, so I deal with differential equations and its solutions, numerical solutions, analytical solutions. And after this all dealing, I try to find an orbit in which a spacecraft can move. So oh. directly it is related with application. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Because it sounds interesting. <laughs> so, okay, fine. So, this is the scenario now. Now you applied for the award and a mail now comes to you. Miss Bernie said, your application is now shortlisted. How did you feel about it? <laughs> yeah, it was very exciting. Actually, they are sending mail as well as a hard copy of selection later to the institute. Oh, so, okay. Fine. Yeah. So uh, the selection was done very late, like in the first week of January. Uh, uh -huh. This uh, I was supposed to present, and at the mid of December only, I had received this. And mm -hmm. meanwhile, uh, there was some other conference also. So I decided because since I did not uh, receive this confirmation or uh, selection. So I decided I decided to participate to some other conference and all of a sudden I received this mail as well as hard copy. So I was even a little bit confused and I thought that, okay, all booking and flight booking, the hotel booking, everything I have done. So now I can't cancel that first one. But uh, somehow I managed to attend both the conferences. Oh, Cool, that's cool, that's cool. Now it shows how passionate you were, like you were attending the conference and also uh, the presentation. For, wow, that's fantastic. Yes. Um, so, yes. Um, so what are your long-term goals, ma'am? And how, what is your next step in your career? And uh, this award would certainly make a difference in your career, right? So can you elaborate on that? Yeah. Actually, for any event, such a word is very plays very important role in a career, professional career as well. So at present, uh, I'm just planning to submit my thesis, and then I'll go for a job. And once I get the my degree, then I can go for even a postdoc studies also. So, but currently, I'm planning to go in teaching field and. As well as I'm interested in ISRO also, because my field is directly related to space applications. So even I have do some discussion with uh, people who are scientists at ISRO. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm lucky in that sense. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, fine. So with this award, you got connections with ISRO? People no, actually, uh, because ISRO people are also working in this direction mm -hmm. and uh, by studying the research papers and with discussion with them. So I could have been connected with them. Okay. So I have some contacts there who mm -hmm. can, uh, with whom I can discuss about research and applications. 
Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah. So you have received the award, right? So do you observe that this award is encouraging to your juniors and the fellow mathematicians? So being known that your brother himself is an aspiring mathematician. So how does this award influence your juniors and the fellow research scholars? Yeah, to, uh, like uh, with this award, there is even a cash prize of 25,000. Cool. Yeah, so it gives a prestige as well as monetary term. It is beneficial in monetary terms also. So students get inspired that, okay, if someone who is not from an IIT or an IIT can even get this award, so even ah. we can do from this. Uh, state universities and many other college students also, they get inspired that even uh, non-IIT students can also achieve a great thing. Yes. Yeah, so, the, I guess this is this actually gives us a very valid point. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fine. Um, yes. Um, so from your experiences in research, um, uh, which we say as PhD and your, your master's where you did your dissertation. What suggestions and tips would you provide to beginners like us? Uh, I would just like to say that there will be always ups and downs as well. So mm -hmm. we just need to be patient. When we are at our down cycle, we need to be patient. Mm -hmm. We may think that, okay, we are in deep sea. There is no end to it. But obviously, there will be an end. We will find a land, and ups will always come. This is what I have learned. Okay. Yes. Fine. Yeah. I could feel about it. Yes. Um. Right. What do you consider to be a tough ta tough challenge in uh, PhD, and how did you actually overcome it? Mm -hmm. There is always everyone with it happens with everyone when that sometimes we don't get some positive results. When we are doing some research, we are getting negative and negative results. So at that time, if we can manage ourselves, or there is someone who is there with us, okay, the things will be right. So that support is very important. Mm. So if this can be managed, then we are through. Ah, uh, okay. Fine. So anyways, uh, we are not supposed to be alone, but also we are we are supposed to have a very nice company of the same state of mind. Yeah. It can oh. be our friends, our parents, or even good. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So at this time, what we actually uh, say, we conclude this question is that we are supposed to have friends who have like mind, we're supposed to have friends in a like-minded way yeah. yeah so yes so other than this award uh, the young scientist award uh if you want to consider a very highlighting moment in your career so far so what that would be after editing is i had decided to go for research then uh... Since I adopted dissertation, during that time only, I got interest in the subject and uh, my I discussed with my dissertation guide. So he insisted that you should clear JRM. Okay. Without stipend, we are not going to take. <laughs> so okay. then I started preparing for uh, JRM. Otherwise, I was in a mindset that I am not at all going to appear in NET examination. Okay. So then I prepared for net and uh, even for get. And luckily, in the first attempt only, I could get GRF as well as I cleared gate examination. So oh, that cool. was very, yeah, that was very um, thrilling. Like there are many students who are preparing too much. Mm -hmm. And even they miss with uh, 0.25 marks or 0 0.05 marks also. So yeah. in that case, I felt very lucky that in the first trial only, I could succeed. Yeah, fine. So, actually, uh, okay, you say to be lucky, but what I could visualize is that um, 
maybe like uh, a, pr- a preparation has to be done right so any exams we can't just go sit and then uh, uh, go and attempt that exam right so the thing is where uh, uh, where the foundation is being laid in a very perfect manner then only we could do the uh, attempt those exams like and then clear at the first attempt itself so uh, this is one of my uh, personal questions basically so uh, how did you lay those foundations uh, as perfect as possible so that you cleared jrf as well as get in the first attempt itself actually uh, from the beginning uh, i was taught by my mother only my mother has done msc with maths and she was a lecturer in the same university ms university of baroda in the mathematics department so i have never been to any tuition classes or something so she was my teacher always so my foundation was clear from the primary even all the concepts mm. were clear from the beginning itself so when i grew up in the university life, during my graduation and post graduation also i had cultivated the habit of clearing the concepts okay because it was in my behavior only because mm-hmm. since childhood i was trained like that okay so whenever i would have some doubt i used to stop i would write on my own or discuss with friends or ask my faculty members so this was inbuilt for me the concept that the conceptual clarity is must score is a different thing one if one cannot write in the exam then score will be low but if conceptual clarity is there then one can do anything in the life that is what i believe yeah that's great that's great actually fine <clears throat> yeah so like uh, since you actually pointed out that your mother is a lecturer your mother is a lecturer in your university in the university which you are uh, doing your doctorate here so tell us about uh, a teacher or a mentor who made an impact on you or set your present path other than your mother now <laughs> yeah. other than my mother uh, my phd guide yeah. okay yeah he became my guide uh, after i completed post graduation but uh, before that he used to teach us actually i am in a university but uh, in this university we are lucky that even professors are teaching in the first year of bsc mm-hmm. yeah so we get connected with uh, professors from the beginning so he used to teach us in first semester only differential equations and like that so his way of teaching and explaining and connecting the things with real life that had actually convinced me a lot okay like the way of teaching anything if we are studying and if we can real uh, connect it with our day to day life then we can easily grasp that thing that is what uh, i have felt during my learning mm. so and his values that was also i was impressed with like cool. never uh, settling anything with less than the mark okay so so here's also the deal so we are supposed to find a phd guide who actually guides us in the proper path so that uh, things can be achieved a little bit higher right yeah. um so before uh, one rapid fire session Ha uh, let's hear how MTTS program actually impacted your career in the past in the present and how it will impact you in the future I have already described about my past yeah <laughs> in present i must say that from there i started learning and reading from the book Hmm. so when i started my research work i was a little bit uh, confident that okay i can go through a book i can start reading and obviously there would be some things 
which I won't be able to get it. But mm -hmm. at least something would be there, which I will be able to understand. Yeah. So, and this helps me whenever I take a new research paper, always it would be that it, many things I won't be able to understand, but at least something will be there, which I can understand. And from starting with them, this will keep on increasing. My portion of understanding will increase. And this will give me, lead me to the end of the research paper. So oh, cool. this is what I'm learning from, still I'm continuing from MTDF. And in future, uh, recently I'm planning to uh, join a uh, teaching job. So obviously, I will also try to follow the methodology which we are learning in my MTDS. I don't know up to how much mark I'll be able to implement it. But at least I will try. <laughs> surely, 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 you will be able to do fully. You will be able to achieve the MTTS methodology where they teach to the. Maybe I think your students will be lucky. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. So let's get into the very favorite session, rapid fire round. So we have um four questions. So we okay. have four questions. And so, as you know, uh, I need not like describe rapid fire to you. So the answer has to be very spontaneous. So let's see how it goes. Um, what non-math book do you like? I like to read uh, all the books by Dr. Uh, by Sudha Murthy. Oh, okay. Do you like, yeah. uh, can you like highlight any one of your favorite books from the author? Yeah, uh, 3,000 Stitches. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. What's that book about? Actually, it is a collection of many uh, real-life incidents. Uh -huh, okay. okay. And uh, the title, 3,000 Stitches, itself is inspired by one of the true stories. Oh, okay. And uh, it would be better if someone reads it rather than I describe it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. I'll order a book soon. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Is it 2024 or 2028 where you receive your field medal? I need to plan. Which in two years <laughs> did you give me as option? 2024 or 2028? 28. 28. Sure, okay, fine. I'm privileged. I'm privileged. I'm interviewing a person who's going to get beat married. Cool, cool, cool. We like your spirit and uh, wholeheartedly uh, from the MTTS Curry Leaf team, we wish you to get those awards. Yeah. Thank you so much. Fine. Um, so this is one personal question where uh, this happens at your home. Do you have fights with your brother due to mathematical errors? No, never ever. Even he helps me with solving my errors. Oh, that's cool. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. For the last uh, question of the rapid fire round and the last question of the interview session, which branch of mathematics do you like the most? Differential equations. Ah, cool. Yeah, fine. Yes. So, yes, ma'am, this was a very wonderful session. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a pleasure meeting you. And once again, as MTTS Curry Leaf team, we congratulate for the uh, Young Scientist Award you have obtained. And yeah, it's really great. And um, yes, ma'am, thank you so much for uh, sharing your valuable time with us. Thank you very much. I thank the entire Curry Leaf team for giving me this opportunity and conducting my interview. It is my pleasure too. Thank you very much. Yeah.